It's Dr. Steve, master of the subconscious mind and doctor who fixes 100% of orthopedic issues not related to cancer, fracture, or infection. And I want to cover everyone's need for survival based around money. Because it the problem is, is you are focused on the problem and not the solution. Now, you can make things work in force life and create all the money in the world. But you burn out and you lose life force and it drains you. All it is that you want is freedom. Freedom to live the life of your choosing. Freedom to not be told you have to eat a certain way that the government tells you. You have to live your life a certain way. You have to live in this house. You have to um, you know, drive this type of car. You're forced to do something that you don't want to do. Now, you can work hard and get it, but here's the thing. The thought is the charge that brings in the potential from the quantum field. So your emotions are the charge that's bringing in the potential. So out of that belief system where I have to work hard, then you do. The universe gives you opportunities as soon as you decide to open your heart and become mind-heart coherent. All of a sudden the message is heard and what comes in is exactly the thing that you desire, but because you're desiring it and you don't have it, you have to force it. And then it's just this cyclical loop. So the whole thing of it is, is you want to feel the emotion. So if you had freedom, how does that make you feel? And feel that emotion. So you want to say, I am free feeling happy and loved. I am free, feeling unchained and joyous. Whatever it is that you want to feel, you choose to feel that. And the quantum field then resonates with that and brings in the experience to create freedom, whatever your idea of freedom is. Now it's not force, it's heart-centered. And it's a whole different energy. Now you have opportunities that flow to you and you enact on them. And the money, which isn't even freaking real, because it's all made up by the institutions, doesn't even exist. The FDIC can't even back up more than 2% of the money that they actually have. It's all printed. It's all bullshit. It's based on nothing. Even if you want to say that gold is true money, it's only because it's a belief system that's there. So it's not the money you need to focus on. It's not that material items and the law of attraction and I'm going to will it to happen. It's all nonsense. The subconscious mind is 98% of your thought. So what is a program in the subconscious mind that's making you feel inadequacy because you don't have it? Or that I have to work hard? Or whatever your belief system is that was instilled from parents and society, you know, as far as, um, you know, one bad one is, is all life is is being taxed. You're taxed when you're born, you're taxed when you work, you're taxed when you retire, you're taxed when you die. Death and taxes, that's all that's guaranteed in life. And people say that. But that's their belief system. It doesn't need to be that, right? So if you say, I am experiencing freedom for me to to live out my sacred duty feeling whatever emotion feeling joyous feeling happy experiencing love if your belief system is that i'm only loved if i have a provider you know um that's very common with men in the in the um in the stereotypical sense you know but if that's the programming that you have the rest of society has then that's your reality there are no rules the meaning to life is there is no meaning. Zero meaning to life because it's all programming. And it's not even real. It's all being created by the subconscious mind. So the vibrational frequency that you exude draws in the experiences you're meant to have to push your soul's evolution. So you're, you're accepted for who you are if you accept yourself, right? So it's, it's the money that you're focused on that's the exact deterrent that's burning you out making you tired sick and unhealthy and sacrificing all the other factors in life like your health 
and your family to get to that goal. You can have it all. But what are the belief systems that are there not allowing you to experience the world in the way that you want?